Hello, dear colleagues. My name is Vladimir Niers. I would like to speak about single photo, 3D scene reconstruction and segmentation. Object class, depth and shape are instantly reconstructed by a human looking at a 2D image. While modern deep models solve each of these challenging tasks separately, they struggle to perform simultaneous scene 3D reconstruction and segmentation. In this paper, we would like to find out how to perform semantic segmentation simultaneously with a single photo 3D reconstruction. Many modern semantic segmentation models leverage skip connections between encoder and decoder. Such connections allow high-frequency contour details to be passed the bottleneck of the encoder's code. Skip connections are natural for 2D to 2D problems and significantly improve the quality of 2D semantic segmentation. Still, there is an open question for a 3D data. How can skip connections be constructed for a 2D to 3D generator network? Inspired by modern view-based single photo 3D construction models, we propose to add 2D to 3D skip connections using stacks of latent feature maps and frustum voxel model. Therefore, the objective of the present work is fourfold. Our aim is developing a single-shot model for simultaneous 3D scene reconstruction and segmentation. We developed a new generator architecture with 2D to 3D skip connections and volumetric inverted residual blocks. We use a generative adversarial framework for training our volumetric generator against a fixed DOF pose reasoning discriminator. We generated a large semantic voxels dataset with 116,000 samples. Each sample includes color image, view-centered semantic voxel model, depth map, pose annotations of nine object classes – person, car, truck, van, bus, building, tree, bicycle and ground. We evaluated our model and state-of-the-art baselines on ShapeNet, ScanNet and our semantic voxels datasets. In our research, we use multiple assumptions proposed in the modern research. Similar to Shin, we use camera view-based coordinate system for scene reconstruction. To improve the performance of our generator, we leverage 3D inverted residual blocks similar to their 2D counterparts proposed by Sandler. Finally, we leverage frustum voxel models similarly to NIAs. In the following presentation, I would like to discuss our proposed framework, including details on frustum voxel models, the generator and the discriminator. After that, I will present qualitative and quantitative results of our model and baselines on three model 3D shape datasets. Finally, I will conclude the presentation with a summary and further work. We propose a single shot that space segmentation and 3D reconstruction framework that we term SSZ. We train a generator adversarially against a discriminator that verifies the object's poses. Trapezium shaped voxels, volumetric residual blocks, and 2D to 3D connections facilitate our model learning explicit reasoning about 3D scene structure. We use Frustum voxel models, or shortly fraxel models, to keep 2D object contours aligned with their 3D counterparts. Unlike the rectangular voxel model, the fraxel model leverages trapezium-shaped voxel. The trapezium of each fraxel lies on the ray that connects a pixel on the sensor matrix and the point on an object. Then, the semantic fraxel model is a 3D tensor in which each element contains the index of the class of an object located in the given fraxel. To this end, the fraxel model can be regarded as a multi-layer 3D semantic segmentation. Each slice is a Boolean intersection of an object and a thin box orthogonal to the camera optical axis located at a given distance. The core of our framework is the SSZ generator. While feature maps in the encoder are 3D tensors, their corresponding feature maps in the decoder are 4D tensors. 
To match the dimensions, we propose copy and inflate skip connections. Such connections expand the new dimension by copying d times 2d slices of each channel in an encoder feature map, while the copy and inflate connection doesn't add new information to the expanded feature maps. The pixel level contour correspondence between 2D and 3D allows the model to reason explicitly about relationships between 2D contours and the corresponding 3D shape. We build the encoder and decoder of our model using inverted residual blocks. This stimulates effective gradient propagation through our model. Our pose 6DOF discriminator aims to provide an adversarial loss function focused on the pose accuracy of the objects predicted by our SSZ generator. Different from modern volumetric discriminators that qualify the input voxel model as being either real or fake, our pose 6DOF discriminator estimates 6DOF poses of objects in the scene and their perceptual realism. We use a patch game discriminator as a starting point for our pose 6DOF discriminator. We generated a large-scale semantic voxels dataset to train and evaluate our model. It includes 116,000 samples of 3D and 2D data. Each data sample represents a single camera pose. It includes a color image, a semantic thrust from voxel model, a depth map, a camera pose, and an object pose annotations for all classes. Our dataset is divided into two splits, real and synthetic. The real split includes 16,000 samples, and the synthetic split includes 100,000 samples of 200 city scenes from various regions of the world. We evaluate our model and baselines on three modern datasets. Compared to state-of-the-art models, our framework surpasses leading results in the intersection of a union for multi-class 3D scene reconstruction. Qualitative results for ShapeNet demonstrate that all baselines fail to reconstruct multi-instance input images. Voxel model generated by our SSZ framework demonstrates more details and pose correspondence to the input image. The results for our semantic voxels dataset demonstrate that for multi-class scenes our SSZ framework outperforms baselines by a large margin. Only the PIX2 Vox model can reconstruct the rough shape of the object. We believe that our copy and flate skip connections allow our model to reconstruct 3D scenes with multiple objects. We compare quantitative results in terms of 3D intersection of a union, quantitative results of, on our semantic voxels dataset demonstrate that our SSZ model successfully reconstructs complex scenes with multiple non-rigid objects of different classes. 3D R2N2 model is the next best performing model for challenging non-rigid classes such as human. We evaluate the necessity of all components of our framework by performing 3D scene reconstructions using an ablated version of our framework. We firstly remove our pose 6 dof discriminator to check the geometric accuracy of the reconstructed scene. Secondly, we compare the performance of the SSZ generator without 2D and 3D inverted residual blocks. The ablated version of our model fails to reconstruct textureless objects such as ground and fine shape details. Therefore, all components of our SSZ framework contribute to the accuracy of the train generator that allows it to achieve the state-of-the-art performance for the task of single photo 3D reconstruction of multi-class non-rigid objects. Our main observation is that thrust from voxel model scene representation allows using skip connections facilitating the generalization ability of our model. Volumetric residual blocks could learn reconstruction and segmentation of 3D scenes from a single image. Compared to state-of-the-art image-to-voxel model translation models, our SSZ framework surpasses leading results in both 3D intersection of a union and pose accuracy for multi-class 3D scene reconstruction.
Thank you for your attention.